Hey everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to be looking at, um, we're back into our environmental um, world and we're going to be adding in some foliage. Now, Brushify again, not, you know, I picked them up last episode, I'm not going to try and do it too much this episode, but if you go into meshes and you go into their foliage, they've already provided some lovely little trees uh, that we can use in our world. Now normally in most games you would have to drag out where you want your trees and place them down. Now all my textures are still compiling on this file so I apologize they're not going to look brilliant but uh, you'll get the gist of what I'm trying to go for here. Um, so we have this this lovely horrible looking maple tree. They won't look like this when the shade is compiled. Even our sky is still compiling so but um, yeah, so we've got this lovely tree. So if we if we get rid of that, we, we don't want to do that by hand. We want to speed things up a little bit. So let's zoom out of our world. If we go into our select mode and click foliage, you're met with this, um, these sort of options. Now all we need to do is I can drag all three of these in and drag them. I might not be able to do this very easily. No, because of the city content draw. Let's drag it down a bit, there we go. Put all three of those into there. We're gonna keep the folders exactly the same, but it, what it'll do is it'll create a foliage um, mesh for each of these, there we go. Uh, now, if I paint, you can see it's a bit overkill and it kind of um, creates an absolute ton of them within a small range. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna up our paint density we also, uh, we're going to up our brush size density and we're going to bring our paint density, sorry, down to something like 0, 0, 0 0.01. Let's try that. That's still quite a lot, as you can see. Um, but you've got all these different shapes and sizes of trees. Now, I'm going to probably undo that. Oh, and bring that to something like 0 0.001. That's a little bit better. And it will randomly paint these trees in your world and you can literally just go and have trees all over your map and you might want to up the density for certain areas um, but it is literally as simple as that and um, when it comes down to where these sit level wise these will sit exactly on the level tiles so uh, if I show you um, if I unload level four, oh, uh, let's save first. Save it first, and then unload. Might take a few seconds. So yeah, we we crashed. Um, for anyone who's wondering, uh, so. Let's reopen our persistent, but that's fine. What I can do now to show you it, hopefully it should all still be because I saved it loaded. We'll load up the first three levels. And there we go. So it goes to show you that uh, it only loads in the foliage now that is on that specific level. Um, so whatever's here will only load in when that level is loaded. There we go. Brilliant. Um, now the textures are still compiling so it looks a bit blocky and horrible. Uh, once those textures have loaded, uh, I promise you it will look a lot better. The sky is finally loaded in so that's great. Uh, we have, uh, oh, is it? Why does it look like that there? And maybe it's not quite loaded in yet, I don't know. Um, it's still got a thousand shaders to compile so it's possible that it's not fully loaded in yet. Um, but yeah, once these trees load in, uh, we'll finally have um, a, a scene that looks um, uh, a little bit better now because we've got grass, we've got trees, and you can do this for all sorts of stuff. So you can do this for, well, near enough anything, to be honest. As long as it's a static mesh, uh, we can probably get away with it. So let's go back into our brush for five file. Let's see what else we've got in here. We could, oh, no, not materials. Uh, let's see, ground, 
forest. Let's go tree trunks. Let's just try adding a few tree trunks in. Uh, so foliage. Let's um, click our tree trunk in there. So now that we've got um, our tree trunk in there, now you want to make sure the other three are not added on here. Oh, that's a lot of tree trunks. Let's um and uh, yeah, redo it to zero zero. Oh no, zero point zero zero one. And you can randomly place in some tree trunks. Now you probably won't want that many tree trunks in one area. It looks a bit overkill. Um, so you could probably make that number for this one. 0 0.0001 and that's a lot more scattered around but you could even use some of the other tools like single and just place them around randomly as you please the textures for this one have loaded in very quickly there you go so you've got yourself some just random little tea trunks if you had some more denser forest you could have these sort of plugged around a bit um, as and when maybe not so many but you know it's it's for you guys to play with and um if you find that you've made a road and you've put too much um in a certain place you could erase some of those things now also you need to make sure these are ticked if you want to erase certain things so there you go but if i undid a, let's say i only want this very large maple tree to be uh to be removed you could just whiz through and just remove those okay so it's just about what you've got uh, actually added on here um, and what you actually want to keep or remove for example so it's for you guys to play with so obviously um, add as many trees or things you want in you could add rocks in you could add um, shrubberies and branches and and all sorts of things and it'll just randomize everything for you in as i said as long as you've got it set to a very low density uh, so let's add all of these on and just click one area it will oh i'm slow paint it will um let's put it back to 0 0.001 it will paint an absolute randomized uh, area for you now you can also change individual densities to each of these so for example if you wanted a hundred trees per one KU or if the density you're creating but you only wanted a small amount of truck um, tr stumps you could um, easily just um, lower that density down here and leave the others as they are you can up the density too so if you wanted like i don't know you wanted 200 of those in your density but you only wanted 100 of those and maybe 50 of those let me just erase some space so i can repaint a bit better let's repaint here you can see it's changed the amount now i'm definitely getting more of these littler trees still the same amount of these trees started around but i'm definitely getting less of these right if i just paint around yeah it, it it'll just amend how much you want it's all again it's all figures you need to play with but um hopefully the end product will be what you require um so yeah that's kind of foliage in a nutshell um with this you should be able to now start putting together some relatively large landscapes um, within sort of minutes as I said this is what I've managed to acquire within the space of 10 20 minutes because obviously I put the landscapes together and now I've put the foliage together um, if I spent a good hour or two doing this um, you could imagine the level of detail and precision I could get just from spending some time planning out a landscape and, and deciding where I want everything to go so hopefully this has been helpful to you. Um, I'll probably in the next episode of this um, work on just putting together like a little scene um, for us to work with. I might add some like rivers in and things like that. Um, 
but yeah thanks so much guys for watching um i hope you've enjoyed this if you need anything in particular leave it in the comments uh, and i'll try and do that for you um and leave a little like and subscribe it's all it's free to do and you can always change your mind uh and i'll see you in tomorrow's episode take care bye